Let me know if you need help. Oh my god, you're so Dave, bad. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dirty Dave, and in this video we're going to be doing an updated guide for Church and Arsenal since Clubhouse did to get the most recent map buff. Going to our operator recommendations, the operators that are highlighted in blue are the ones that I do not recommend. Now I know that I recommend about 13 operators and we only have 5 slots, but a lot of them have similar roles, so Smoke and Legion. Both are anti-rush and are going to be controlling blue. Then Mute and Bandit, they're both anti-breach. Um, Castle, Jaeger, and Mira, they're unique. But Pulse and Valkyrie, they're both for Intel and C4s. Vigil and Ella, they're both roamers. And then Echo and Maestro, they're both anchors that control a gadget. So those are our operator recommendations. You can mi mix and match whatever you want. I'm going to take Alibi for Destruction and let's get right to it. So the first thing that I want to start off with is the where the attackers like to plant. So if they're pushing church, they're usually going to get control of moto, then try to get control of main stairs right there, and they're going to try to breach this wall, a uh, church wall, so right here, they're going to try to breach this wall. So when they plant, this is probably the safest plant, right here is the safest plant they can get in church. So that's if they try to push church, and then arsenal, they're going to get control of kitchen, get that hatch, and then they're going to try to plant back here, and it's pretty easy for them to get control of kitchen and back of OBJ. And then also kind of third kind of push is blue, it's usually like a blue rush, and they try to plant right here. So now that we got where our attackers like to plant, let's go into reinforcements, and we got 10 total. So you definitely got to get the cave wall or tunnel wall, whichever you prefer. It takes two. So this is just to stop them. Right here. Leads to outside. You just want to slow them down and stop them. Limit their options. So those are two reinforcements. And then the next two, going to four, is right here on blue wall. Just to slow down the rush. So that's four reinforcements. And then the next three, go here on church wall. Same thing, just to keep them out. Because right here, this is the best plant. And we don't want them to have that. So that's send reinforcements. The next three reinforcements go to the hatches. So we got arsenal hatch. We got moto hatch. And then we got blue hatch, which I skipped over here. So blue hatch. Now, I'm going to go upstairs and show you guys how they look from above. So over here, we're going to go in stock. And this is a blue hatch right here. Let's see? The blue light and we're gonna go here in bar and this is moto hatch that drops into church right here church and then kitchen hatch is the one that drops into arsenal and these will be our final three reinforcements all right now that we got reinforcements let's go into destruction so right here this is kind of a rotation but it's mainly for an angle for the attacker drop down Let me clean it up real quick. So this is, a, you kind of use it for rotation, but it's mainly to watch the hatch drop because it's pretty easy for attackers to get control, especially since it's destructible right there. So when they drop, it's pretty safe. And this is just to give you an angle from church to see them drop and shoot them while they do that. Now these next two rotations are ones that I see in pro league, but not often in rank. And, uh, whether you should do them, I think I think they're pretty good. So right here, they usually do them at crouch level, but I want to show something real quick. Come on, break for me. So with these, you have to vault. And something that I'm going to be experimenting in the future to see if it works is that I'm going to put frost traps at the ends of rotation. So if they were trying to rush right here thinking they got an easy route, they're going to end up with a frost trap. And that's just something I want to mention because I want to exper uh, experiment with that in the future. So right there. But how the pros do it, they do it at crouch level. So the attackers can't just run through. Right there. So they do it at crouch level. And another thing you do is that you can blow across the wall if you, if you want to. But what I like to do is shoot at the bottom so you can shoot the attacker's feet. Down and under. So right there, that's pretty solid. 
And that's it for our destruction. Next up is barbed wire. You at least want four and at the most six. So there's a lot of places you can put them. But I like to put one at the, the hatch drop down. So you got one right here. Then you got one over here in the blue hatch. But I'll put it right here so if they try to come through the pathway, they also hit the barbed wire. Then another piece right here. So that's a third piece. And our fourth piece will go right here at this door, mainly because you can't really shoot them when they drop this. It's pretty safe drop, so you want to put it right here. So when they try to come in church, now if you have six, that means two more pieces. You put one right here when they try to come in, and right here at the cave door or tunnel door. So that's it for our barbed wire. Next up, angles. So I, ha I like this one. You have to impact this pallet, and what you can do is you can shoot behind this shelf so right there you can see the wall so we're looking at that behind the shelf so you can you can see if thermite's trying to plant or breach that wall you'll be able to shoot them in the back and you can't you can shoot through these uh... blue boxes it's right there i'm shooting through it. it's right there i'm shooting through the blue boxes obviously Look. So if you had a gun, you actually be able to shoot him right here. You know, you're kind of limited in your sight. So that's a pretty nice angle. This one's really good as well. You can actually destroy this uh, bar, and you can create angles right here. Not not a lot of people do this. They probably don't know about it. Right here, just create angles. A lot of times, people they just be standing, but you can actually see people through here. It's pretty nice. You can shoot it out as well if you want to. And you can do the same thing for the bottom right here. This chair that was indestructible, actually, I never tried to impact it, but I wouldn't w waste the impact. So you can actually, those holes that I made at the bottom of the floor, this is great for my, my Esther when he has his ACOG. He'd be able to shoot out people's feet. So that's pretty nice. Right there. Here you can get on top of this table, shotgun this, and then you, you'll be able to see people coming down blue stairs you'll be able to see them at chest height and behind the counter you'll you'll be able to see their heads but then again they can see yours as well so that's pretty nice and then right here I like to use this one on the hatch a lot of times people like to head glitch the hatch and this is just a good counter angle and this is a nice angle over here on the garage drop I think that's called the oil pit right there and you can see them drop the ladder um, I do recommend that you reinforce this wall practically every single time, but something you do is you can wait 30 seconds or a minute into the round, see if they try to rush through there, get a nice angle, then reinforce it later when it's safe. So that's it for our angles, but I got more to show you guys throughout the rounds when I'm going over the roamers, but now I want to go over the hard breaching denial angle spots. So uh, it's kind of confusing title right there, but a lot of times Habana likes to or Habana, there's three hatches. Habana got three charges, so usually she tries to get all the hatches. So I'm gonna show you guys spots where you can shoot the ex Cairo pellets out from above. So all the hatches have destructibility above them, so you can roam upstairs and just deny Habana. So I'm gonna show you guys all the spots, and this first one is gonna be here in kitchen. So you got this angle right here. So, let me see. Actually, the wrong angle is this side. I'll show you guys that angle next, though. So, the hatch right here. You can shoot off the pellets. And then this angle is for freezer. If they try to come in through freezer, I think it's a little bit more to the left. This wall sucks. Right there, you can see that's freezer door. And then right above here is the window. I, if you heard that, I opened it. Right there, you can see the light right there. I'm running out of ammo. Right there's the window. Sometimes Habanas just stick their head out the window. You get an easy kill. Over here, this is the bar hatch. So one thing you can do right here. And I'm trying to show you guys the more discreet spots too. Like I can go right above the hatch and show you guys, but right here is a little bit more discreet. Oh, well, this is right about the hatch, but I thought that's pretty nice. And then this other angle that I want to show you guys right here. This one's a nice one for the stairs. So 
right there. Right there, that is main stairs. It can shoot people going down and from above. So that's pretty solid. And then the last hatch over here in blue, or above blue. Should open that hatch. Come on, open it. Free roamers. Right here, this is the stock hatch or blue hatch. Okay, this wall destroys a little bit better. So there's the hatch right there, and you can just deny, deny Habana. And if you can stop her from getting all the hatches, that's pretty dirty, to be honest. And, yeah, it'll make it super hard for them. So I recommend that your roamers do this. I think that's about it for the general stuff. And let's go over to the operator-specific things. Real quick, I forgot to mention some two more angles for you guys in that last part. Right here, so that is the cave or tunnel entrance for the attacker so you can shoot their might off the wall if he's trying to breach it so right here this is a little nice run out for that kind of bad impact right there you can, you'll be able to shoot him off him trying to breach the wall right there so those are two extra things i want to show you guys all right here we're going to be covering the mirror setup and i only got two mirror windows to show you guys They're probably the best ones they can use so this one's going to be on church wall facing main stairs so i already got pre this prepped to throw c4 over there on stairs throw c4 and same thing over here for moto and then right here i like to shoot this out because not a lot of people expect to get shot from church wall and then, as always, I recommend that you prep your mirror windows. So by prep, I mean you shoot out around the window so it expands your field of view. So that's that window. Next window is over here facing blue. So right here, I prep it as well. I'll shoot around it, expand my field of view. So what you do with this mirror window is that this is mainly for blue and for church. So, or church and moto. So right there, that is moto door. So a lot of times people drop the hatch and then they push the people in church well this is the mirror to cover their back so right there that's how you use it i guess you can kind of go this way as well if they push far into church but this is what it's mainly for you see them and then shoot them out right there and then uh one thing to watch out for and the main reason why i recommend castle is that you can get shot in the back from cave so if you really need to you put it at crouch height, but a castle, you put it there to watch your back. But if you don't have a castle, I would put it at crouch height so you don't get shot in the back of the head. All right, so that's it for Mira. Here we are on Maestra, and I'm going to show you guys my pre-made setup. So the first Maestra is going to be here in Arsenal, and this is going to watch kind of the hallway and deny the church wall breach. And then the second Maestra is over here in blue. And it's going to just kind of be mainly for intel and just kind of denying people. So right here, it even floats. So that's pretty nice. And I used everything. I used my barbed wire. I used all my pistol shotgun ammo. So barbed wire right there to do all this. And with my Astro, you're going to be chilling behind this bar and using these angles. ACOG right here. She's using all my ammo for this. I did this all myself. So right here. Just chill behind the counter. So these, you can shoot off. You can't shoot people in the door but you'll be able to shoot the thermite breach charge and shoot people who are here in arsenal so it's pretty solid here in blue this is as far as you can turn to the right but you can sh shoot people who drop the hatch try to go through the door coming in and then right here the hole if they drop moto you can see them right there and then some spots where they try to plant so that's for maestro all right, this next part is for mute. And the main thing that I want to show you guys is uh, how you can deny cave with one mute charge. And this is really old school, it's way back in Pro League. But if you put a mute charge, so you can kind of see it has pretty good range. And you're going to want to put it here in this corner so it, so it can cover both walls. So when you move a little bit more to the left, right here. So that's, a bit, that's about right. Not a lot of people try to breach that wall anyway. So if you were to go safe, be more to the right. So we put it right here to block both walls. And then what you do is you put a shield in front of this drone hole. Uh, Mute doesn't have a shield no more. He has a C4 and then the bulletproof camera. So it takes two people to do this. And I don't have a partner to help me. So you just need another person to put a shield. And Castle has a shield. So uh, Castle and Mute has some synergy. And Castle can take a shield. And then you can have take Legion or Smoke to make the rotations for Castle. Because usually that's how it goes. And so he can put his shield right here. 
and then box the mute. Then you're gonna need a Jaeger to block the grenades, so they can't shoot the jammer. So they're gonna need explosives to take out the shield. So you put a Jaeger down to stop the grenades, and it's just they have to use a whole lot of utility if they want to get through cave. So that's a pretty good trick. It's way it's in the old video that showed this back when mute did have a shield. I did it all by myself, but I need two people to do it now. So I don't have that, but other than that, I'll put a mute jammer where you have your mirror. So if you have a mirror, on right here in general, this is just a good spot to have a mute jammer. Have a mute jammer on this wall, and if you have the mirror, put it right there. And then right here, you can actually tuck it in. So it's a lot harder to shoot. Actually, you can tuck it in a little better, I think. Right there. So the night drone's coming from this door. So that's it for mute, and I'm going to Valkyrie. All right, now the final operator that I want to show is Valkyrie, and I got four cams to show you guys, four good cams. So this first one here is going to be in Kitchen, and the best spot to put it is in this area. I like to put it along this beam so they cannot see it from this window, and also they can't see it from freezer door. So from freezer door, they can see if it's over there, and then from the window, they can see if it's over here. So right here is the only spot, or the blind spot they don't have. It's right here in kitchen so this is a pretty solid cam you see anywhere and what you do is you can have Valkyrie play below in C4 or you can have a roam and this is good intel remember what I showed you guys with those spots where you can go go above and shoot through the floor destroy Habana's pellets and you can also throw on the meat if you want to be cheeky right there I don't know people might not expect it that's pretty obvious though so that's the main cam. I think you should have that cam always. You should always have that cam and then this cam right here. However you want to throw it. So this one just watch this bar. Another important hatch. Like I said, use that trick that I show you guys the angles to destroy the pellets off the hatches. Right here, so that's a good cam. I can't get that one back though. So this next cam is the one I saw in Pro League. And what they did is, I don't know how they threw it. It looks like he landed it on the other side of the fence. And I, I think he might have landed it on the porta potties. But what you can do, just try to try to land it right there. Why not? It doesn't matter if it hits the fence. If it hits the fence, then you can just turn to the right. What you may want to see is if Thermite is trying to breach cave. So if he's trying to breach cave, you can't really shoot him from there. But you can do this run out. Run out of here and shoot them and you can see that with this camera so that's pretty nice I like that I got that one from Pro League it was in this recent Paris Major I think it was a uh, I don't remember who it was I think it might have been an APAC team or it wasn't NA or EU it was APAC or LATAM or LATAM so this final cam is right here so this is your fourth option this one's just some blue for intel if you want to see them coming from garage which right here in blue it's a pretty solid cam well hidden so yeah that's it for valkyrie all right here we are on the final part of the video where i talk about all the other operators that i didn't give a specific clip for so that's bandit jaeger smoke lesion castle pulse ella vigil echo i think that's about all of them uh, yeah i'm pretty sure so Let's start with Smoke and Legion. So Smoke and Legion, they're going to be playing here in blue, denying the rush. Legion can just fill up the hallways with his mines. And then they, they also create the rotation, Smoke with the shotgun, Legion with his impacts. Make sure to create that rotation. And then these ones are optional. Create the destruction on the floor. That's kind of their job. So that's Smoke and Legion. Um, since I'm Bandit, I'll go with Bandit. Bandit is going to for sure put his batteries on the mirror windows. And if there's no mirror, then I'll just put them right here three on this wall and then put the fourth piece on a piece of barbed wire or you can try to ban a trick with that final one but usually ban it will go roaming Jaeger I'll put one ADS for the anchor here in blue whether it's Legion or smoke put the second ADS over here for the anchor in arsenal or if pulse is down right there and then the final ADS for the anchor here in church so that's Jaeger then Jaeger can go roam pulse we plan underneath here it's pretty obvious. I'm um, castle. Barricades this door. Barricades. So that's blue door. Cave door right here or tunnel door. And then the final door would be moto. Moto door. 
Mordor. Lots of tongue twister right there. And if you don't want to do either one of those, you can barricade that door. Like if you have the mirror and you're trying to peek that, yeah, I would do big door right there, stair door. So I think that's castle. Echo doesn't do much. He'll be the anchor here in church and then use his drones where they're needed. I think that's about everyone. Ella and Vigil. I didn't mention them. Okay, yeah. Ella, Vigil. They'll be roaming upstairs and using those angles that I showed you guys to deny the hatch plants. The hatch plants. The hatch breaching. So, Habana. I showed you guys. Hopefully, you know what I'm talking about. I'm losing my mind. So much stuff to talk about. I think I got everyone covered. If I forgot to mention someone, tell me and I answer it in the comments. And I think we're good. So... If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you want more Dairy Dave, subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.